symbiosis took place in him, a transmigration by which a being from the category of the sons of God, a jealous, a shining one, one of the creator parents named Mihail, fused with him, coexisted with him during those three years, keeping him company in the realization of his great mission. What did this great mission consist of, specifically to teach humanity that love is the strongest force in the universe, capable of overcoming everything and transforming everything, including overcoming death, understanding love as respect, tolerance, and forgiveness among human beings. The day will come, according to the Apocalypse, that humanity will have access to a certain knowledge that was hidden for ages. When this knowledge emerges, the forces of darkness will become subject to humanity for a thousand years. At the end of the thousand years, which begin on the 22nd of December, year 2012, a new millennium will start. And at the end of that millennium, it is believed that humanity will take the side of the forces of light in a last great battle, the Battle of Armageddon. But what would happen if at the moment humanity finds out that we have been victims of a cosmic conspiracy in which extraterrestrials and ultra-terrestrial forces, our creator parents and even our older siblings have conspired against humanity, what would happen if in that moment, instead of humanity struggling against the darkness, in a supreme act of love we say, Father, forgive them, for they were mistaken. They tried to prevent the evolution of man on earth, and on the contrary, they made man of greater value and greater significance. Such was the pressure and the cold, meaning humanity, that the quality of the diamond is excellent. In this moment of forgiveness, the cosmic redemption of the earth will be sealed. What is expected to happen in the following years? Humanity will access knowledge that was hidden. A wealth of information will come to light. Information that has been hidden by the governments and by religions. The enlightenment will be so profound that many people won't be able to resist it. Among the things that humanity is going to discover is that we are in an alternative time, paradoxical, that we are not in real time, and that we are getting closer to a reconnection, a synchronization of times. In the months and years following December 22nd, year 2012, we are going to see a speeding up of psychic potential in dreams and consciousness. Great transformations in the planet will take place at the ecological and climatic levels, including natural catastrophes of tremendous impact. Why? Because the Earth is getting closer to a great planetary labor. The Maya civilization wisely anticipated this. They considered that starting in the year 2003, each year symbolically will be like a month of pregnancy, leading to a great planetary birth. That great labor has been foreseen as taking place between now and December 22nd, year 2012. Will humanity be capable of fulfilling the great mission that it has been assigned? Will we really be capable of all important moments of cosmic forgiveness? How will we be capable of such a gesture? If prior to that, we are not able to exercise tolerance and to forgive and accept our family and others the way they are. Today, the terrifying forces are trying to encourage whatever it takes to destabilize our civilization. Racial hate, ethnic hate, religious struggles and confrontations. We are at the most propitious moment in human history to demonstrate a real spiritual level in our striving for unity and diversity. We should emphasize everything that unites us and not what separates us. Remember that we are human beings and our home is planet Earth, a planet predestined to be the light for others, the light of the cosmos. We are not the center of creation, but we are the center of a cosmic expectation. Otherwise, so many extraterrestrial civilizations wouldn't have been coming since immemorial time to our world. We are living the most extraordinary moment of human history, a great defining moment. It is also the time of a great awakening. Either we succeed at passing through these events, or we will simply not achieve the goal. Not a lot of people are needed to change the world. The Hopi Indians, or Pueblo Indians, talked about 144,000 sun dancers, who had to remain dancing through a night of darkness to ensure the birth of the next day. The Apocalypse teaches us about 144,000 people who washed their clothes, meaning that they awoke their consciousness. Relatively few people are needed to change the world. What is needed is that all those people who are evolving and growing give their best and remain constant and committed to the process of change. Let's remember that we live in a universe without limits.
The only limit is our own ignorance. Don't believe anything you have heard. Think, reflect. But the most important thing is to feel, because the truth is inside of everyone.